What's going on everyone? My name is Jasmine. On today's episode of The Slain Project, we're going to be talking about the case of 26-year-old Diane Medicine Horse. She disappeared from the Crow Reservation in September 1981. She dropped off her daughter at her dad's house and after she left, she was never seen or heard from since. Now, if you would like to see more videos on missing and murdered indigenous people, click that subscribe button and the notification bell. Now let's get right into it. Diane Medicine Horse was born on December 29th, 1954, to parents Frank Medicine Horse and Wanda Dorr. Her parents were in the U.S. boarding school system when they were younger. The couple lived on the Crow Reservation where they raised Diane and her sisters. The Crow Reservation is the largest in Montana and is about 3,600 square miles. In present day, Native Americans make up 6.7% of Montana's population, but they make up 32% of the missing people in the state. And that is only the known reported missing people. This number does not include all the missing Native people, as some are not reported missing or are not listed in any databases. So this percentage is probably much higher. Alcohol and violence was a common occurrence in Diane's home life with her parents. Alcohol's shadow would continue to follow Diane into her own adult life. It would never release its grip on her. Diane's nickname was Tiny. She loved to hang out and party. Her friend Christina would recall when they would bar hop and harden and drink for days on end. There was not much to do on the reservation and this gave the friend some sort of excitement. Diane would have a son named Nathan who would go live with his paternal grandma in Washington State. The grandma did not approve of Diane's drinking and felt it was safer to keep Nathan with her. She also had a daughter named Natasha with a man named Henry Rondeau. Henry lived with his brother Tim in Crow Agency. On September 28, 1981, Diane dropped her daughter off at her uncle Tim's to see her dad Henry. She pulled up in her white Buick and drove off never to be seen again. A lot of initial reporting of Diane's disappearance said that Diane was last seen in the front yard of her uncle's place, dropping off her dad. Diane's dad actually had died in 1979. It was actually the uncle of her daughter, Natasha. Diane was not immediately noticed to be missing by her family. She was a known alcoholic and would often be away from home days at a time, doing her own thing. Then on October 23, 1981, Diane's mom had died from cirrhosis of the liver. Cirrhosis is a liver disease most commonly brought on by alcoholism, but I am not sure if this was the cause of Wanda's condition. Hepatitis and a fatty liver are also causes of this disease. Liver damage done by cirrhosis cannot be undone, but further damage can be limited if the person stops drinking. There have been quite a few Native Americans who have developed cirrhosis, and it leads to a slow, agonizing death. In 2019, chronic liver disease was the fourth leading cause of death for all Native Americans and the second leading cause of death for Native males ages 35 to 44. But when Diane did not show up to her mom's funeral, her family knew something was terribly wrong. Her sisters reported her missing and began to search for her. Her son Nathan has some BIA notes from the initial investigation. It states that BIA agents checked a treatment center in Glendive, Montana for Diane. They also looked in Fort Berthold, North Dakota, and there was also a rumored sighting of Diane drinking in a hardened bar a few days after she was last seen. None of these tips panned out and the case grew cold. Diane's sisters even visited a medicine woman to see if she could shed some light on her disappearance. 
The medicine woman had a vision that she was in an area surrounded by trees. But there were no trees in the area and maybe a patch or two in nearby lodge grass where they once lived. So they decided to go back to the medicine woman for more clues. But by the time they sought out her help again, she had died in her sleep. In February 2019, the Billings Gazette interviewed Diane's daughter Natasha about her disappearance. She went on to say that she also had earned the nickname Tiny, and when her dad found out, he cried because that also was her mom's nickname. She also said her upbringing was difficult and that she was raised by her dad, stepmom, and paternal grandpa. Her dad and stepmom drank a lot and domestic violence was a common occurrence. Her grandpa was more like her dad and was sober after making the decision to stop drinking. He promised to live until Natasha graduated. He kept that promise and died soon after. To deal with the hardships of losing her mom and being raised around alcohol and violence, Natasha also turned to alcohol and drugs to cope with the pain. She ended up selling drugs and was shot when she was 39 years old while selling meth. She then made the choice to straighten out her life so she could be there for her children. Natasha thought it was possible that she too could disappear just like her mom did. But she did not want her kids to go through the same thing she did. After the article was published, a woman named Butterfly contacted Natasha. The woman told Natasha that she knew a man that would talk about Diane all the time. He has since died, but Butterfly was reminded of him when she read the article. Natasha told her the story of what the medicine woman said about her mom being surrounded by trees. And this reminded Butterfly of where her friend once took her. He brought her up to the Prior Mountains one time, which is just over 100 miles from Crow Agency. Butterfly now thinks that her friend might have buried Diane in those mountains. She brought Natasha to the same spot she was taken to. Natasha plans to search the area one day in hopes of finding her mom. Diane Medicine Horse has been missing for over 40 years. She was 26 years old when she went missing. She is 5 feet 2 inches tall and was about 130 to 140 pounds when she was last seen. Her nickname is Tiny and she may use the last name Rondeau. Diane has the word love on her left hand knuckles. She would be 67 years old if she were alive today. BIA's newly created Missing and Murdered Unit is currently investigating Diane's disappearance. Throughout my research, I never read anything else on the white Buick Diane was driving. The only time it ever came up was when she dropped off her daughter with her dad. So I am assuming that her car has also never been found. Could it be in a river, lake, or over a steep embankment? Is there anyone local that had the resources to dig a large hole with machinery back in 1981? Perhaps if the car is found, Diane also will be found with it. Please contact the BIA contacts on the screen if you have any information about Diane Medicine Horse or if you've seen her at the end of September in 1981. Any information is helpful, even how small it may seem. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you knew Diane, please share any memories of her down below. And I will see you in the next video.